That was cold. Take the Mr. Gateway back from there. It worked. I can't believe it. My goodness, that was crazy. Them them Valkyries ain't waiting uh, to to the Valkyries we fought in the first game, bro. Real talk. damage five burn Ragnarok on our side Sorter's plan just worked I mean the Valkyries were a small setback but I bet we've got Odin worried now he knows we're coming for him <laughs> think about it we're gonna show up to Asgard and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win. Atreus, oh, this ain't a game. Noah failed to predict what we would sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. <gasps> oh. Ragnarok's strength grows. that cliff. Earthquake must have shook this place up enough to make a ledge. More of Odin's forces. We're trying to finish the job after we started. Got some bifrost on you. Be careful. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless right now. So, you fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Right. Happening. Better get out of here. Oh. 
shit in shoulder, huh? I'm dead. Anytime soon. We need to get back. You're quiet. I mean, you're always quiet, but it feels different. <laughs> I had hoped my days of ceaseless battles were over. I had hoped to never see my son go to war. Yeah, we have to destroy his shield! Monkey Lee! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm lock in, lock in, lock in. I'm locked in, I'm locked in, I'm locked in. Dodging. And what kept healing it? Like barely doing any damage. Oh. 
Uh, I'm such a mod. Come off the thing. See, I didn't even know I could do that. Ragnarok has to happen. The price we and others paid for this war is high. Only get higher. It be worth it. Brothers, how did it go? And yes, my usefulness to a certain Vanium Numpty did run out. How do you get on my hip? As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We have some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, father. Is there anything you want to finish up? We're ending this... this stream. Let's go. Look at all these side quests. Well, this is it then. The beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. 
I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite? They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they? <sighs> Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can? Freya and the others are still making <laughs> preparations for the attack. So there's time. No, we're getting this over with. Another Berserker gravestone. <laughs> Guess we could do this real quick. Look, the oarsmen. Ah, yes. The warriors who sailed their langskips across the realm in search of new lands to conquer. A Futurlund. It was the birthplace of my dear Seagram. I never knew. I should not have been getting dull like that. You mean the old Valkyrie Queen? Hi. She was once a mortal princess of this realm. I think I saw a staircase on the other side. <gasps> One, two. Think there's another way around? Hmm. The little things, it's the little things I tell you. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> 
told me her kingdom housed a great treasury filled with the spoils of her family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Did she say where? No, just that they kept it hidden. What lock that key belongs to? No lock. It is broken. Not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find his partner. Perhaps those runes over there can shed some light. What? No. She never mentioned. Father. I think I see another key piece over there. Where's the third one at? We just went in a full circle. Oh, an artifact from the River Empire. Never been myself. It's lovely. <laughs> It's not even why I came over here. Secret. She loved another. A king named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. It must have been hard for her not to marry who she wanted. I imagine so. Yes, whatever. Let's get back to what we were doing. About the 
oracles of your lands. Would you say they manipulated events? Did they have an agenda? I do not doubt they held their own interests first, but in my experience, they could be easily fooled by their own. Well, the armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hilda Spini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hell's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh. Yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen. The Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alpheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just sleep on it. Nah, they they purposely purposefully let this prophecy out. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Why can't hey. we just sleep back at the crib? Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Excuse me. Yep. You have a moment with Mimir. Y'all better fight like how y'all's dog and me when I fought y'all. I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more. Except perhaps a dance. Yet though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Due respect, love. I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you. That's true love. When his head is on the left and you still want him.
Can I sleep here tonight? They really do. And sleep in, in trenches for real. Hurt your mind. I can't. And I will tell you a story. If I fall asleep. Promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me.
You were quiet. I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. The funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh. have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. <laughs> you once tried to take charge of your ending, did you not? That was different circumstance, yes. But not on purpose. You prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me, whenever that day comes, for you and for our son. We will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. When you are gone, that part of me dies as well. Do you feel your absence? No. Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir. So I'll beat it tonight or tomorrow. We'd hope to 
fly into battle with you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sister. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. A little. So, what are your orders? To the temple. 